previously on Stranger Things. We're first introduced to a girl who can make people see what she wants them to see, and she reveals a tattoo just like Eleven's. Mike, Dustin, Lucas and Will head down to their local arcade where they find a player named Mad Max has beaten their high score in Dig Dug, when suddenly Will experiences the upside down and witnesses something emerging in the sky before snapping out of his trance. Hopper is back at work and being pestered by a local conspiracy theorist who is starting to piece things together regarding Eleven and the facility, but Hopper dismisses him to look into a local farmer's pumpkin patch that's been poisoned. We're introduced to Billy and his younger sister Max, who the boys discover is the notorious Mad Max who beat their high score. Joyce has a new boyfriend named Bob and is trying to get some answers about Will's recent episodes in the Upside Down. Dr Owens is Will's specialist who also supervises the maintaining of the Upside Down Gateway, preventing it from spreading. Nancy and Steve visit Bob's parents' house who just hired a private investigator to help find their daughter, which overwhelms Nancy with guilt. Jonathan tries to cheer Will up before he has another episode and witnesses the Shadow Monster. Hopper retreats to a cabin in the woods where him and Eleven are currently residing. Eleven escaped the Upside Down and now Hopper won't let her leave the cabin in order to keep her safe. Joyce discovers Will's drawings and alerts Hopper who is the only person she can trust. The boys are the only ones that dress up for Halloween but try to enlist Max into their group. We learn that her brother is bad news and he threatens to run the boys over with his car. Hopper looks further into the poison crops in the area and finds a pattern. Joyce and Bob fantasise about moving away to escape these events and Nancy confesses to Steve that their relationship is bullshit. Meanwhile, Eleven finds a way to communicate with Mike and Dustin finds a little creature in his trash and calls him Dart. Not sure what it is, Dustin starts doing some research. Bob tells Will to stand up to the monsters that haunt him and while one relationship blossoms, another ends. Tired of being cooped up in the cabin, Eleven leaves in search of Mike and the gang who are trying to figure out what Dart is. Will recognises it from the upside down and the group decide to destroy it, but Dustin has other ideas. Eleven finds Mike and thinks he's falling for Max, so she makes Max fall instead. Eleven has a meltdown, Will gets possessed and Jonathan and Nancy decide to meet up with Barb's parents to tell them the truth. Little do they know they're being watched and are taken to the facility where they are warned against telling anyone about the town's impending doom. The shadow monster starts taking over Will's body and he starts drawing some sort of map. Eleven finds newspaper clippings of a woman that is likely her mother so she tries to communicate with her and learns her own real name is Jane. Nancy and Jonathan skip town in search of answers and Dart eats the family cat. Hopper discovers the cause of the crop poisoning, some upside down tunnels which try to consume him. Dart gets pucked and Eleven goes looking for her mother and finds she is traumatised by the events that separated the two of them. Nancy and Jonathan meet up with the conspiracy theorist and they help each other fill in the blanks. Bob helps Joyce find Hopper and Will starts feeling the damage the facility is causing to the gateway. Dustin teams up with Steve to help kill Dart but he's already escaped into the tunnels. Joyce gets fired up and so do John and Nancy. Hopper recovers after his experience and is shown the full scale of the upside down tunnels. The gang meet up at the junkyard to take care of these demo dogs and Steve saves the day. The monster inside Will ambushes the workers in the tunnels and Eleven learns of her long lost sister who was raised in the facility with her. Carly, aka Eight, and her gang of vigilantes spend their time serving justice to those who have wronged them. Eight trains Eleven to become more powerful and gives her a bitchin' makeover. Eleven joins the dark side but remembers that her friends need her and returns to Hawkins. The demo dogs infiltrate the facility and our heroes are trapped inside. We learn why Billy is the way that he is and Nancy and Jonathan return to help out back at the facility. Bob sacrifices himself so the rest can escape and Dustin points out that the shadow monster displays traits of a mind flayer, which means that Will feels what it feels. The demo dogs return but so does Eleven and she's reunited with Mike, but there's some tension between her and Max, but a different type of tension between Billy and Mike's mum. Eleven returns to the facility to end things once and for all. Max takes down Billy and the heat gets turned up on Will. The gang destroy the tunnels and demo dogs while Eleven uses everything she has to finally close the door on the Upside Down. One month later and Barb is finally laid to rest and Hopper officially adopts Eleven. Back at school, everyone attends the snowball. Dustin strikes out twice before Nancy swoops in. Mike and Eleven share a long-awaited kiss and all is well in Hawkins. At least for now.